In these examples, we see something a little bit different than we've seen in previous videos of solving equations, and that is there are some parentheses involved where we need to use the distributive property in order to simplify. So anytime you see parentheses, you need to eliminate them really before doing any other steps um, that we've seen previously. So of course you need to simplify both sides if you can. Well you can't really combine your like terms until any distribution that is there is completed. So we need to distribute 5 through to both of these terms. So 5 times 3x is of course 15x. 5 times negative 4 is negative 20, so this is minus 20 equals 30. I can add 20 to both sides. So 15x equals 50. You know, I'm, now I'm just doing the techniques we learned previously, right? Nothing, nothing new here. So once we get past that initial need to use the distributive property, nothing new is happening. All right, and of course, if we uh, we want to leave it as an improper fraction, if that's what we end up with, but of course, we're still responsible for uh, reducing our fraction. So we realize that five can go into both the top and bottom of this fraction. And so we end up with the reduced fraction of x equals 10 thirds. All right. In this example, um, same situation happening, but it's just a little more complicated. And remember, we have this situation of two minus parentheses. And remember, when you see minus and then a set of parentheses, another way to think of that is minus one times what was in that parentheses. And that is often helpful to rewrite it that way so that now you can see a number that you're actually going to distribute through to both terms. Okay, so I will distribute negative one through to both of these terms. I'm going to rewrite my two, because I'm not gonna do anything with that yet. So two, negative one times five x is negative five x, so I'll write minus five x. And then negative one times negative three is positive three, so I'll write plus three. Five times two x is 10 x. And then five times four is of course 20. And then don't forget about our minus x out there. So now we need to simplify both sides. Um, so the negative, or the, sorry, the two and the three are like terms. So I'll just take two plus three is five, but then this has no uh, like terms. So we'll just rewrite it as minus five x. 10 x minus x is 9x and then plus 20. So I need to get all variable terms on one side, all constant terms on the other. I'm going to move the 5x because it, I'm going to remove the minus 5x because negative 5 is smaller than 9. And that will make it so that my coefficient on my x is positive. And left with a five over here. And then of course we can subtract 20 from both sides to get the constant on the other side. So this is negative 15 equals 14 X. Okay, and so of course we can divide both sides by 14 to isolate X. So our answer here is X equals negative 15 fourteenths because that is a reduced fraction.